Kid Daytona is in the house. Yo, we out here, man. What's the, going the, on, fella? The, the boogie down Bronx. Yes, the BX is in the building. <laughs> you know? You ain't uh you ain't stealing no more Toyota Camrys, are you? Oh uh, man, you know about that? <laughs> you did your research? <laughs> That's well, I, crazy. <laughs> I heard I heard well, I'll I'll let you break down how you got the name and everybody will understand why. I mean, I all right, man. My my boy, one of my childhood friends, we might have been like 14, 15. God bless the dead. Um he had a master key to Toyota Camrys, and we used to, like, steal the Camrys, joyride them, you know, just for fun. Maybe put them back in the parking spot if it was still there, but leave it somewhere, you know what I mean? Not never steal, steal it all the way. So Borrow. Borrow. Got so it. one time it was uh my turn, you know, to joyride, and I got shook. I thought it was some DTs behind us, and I crashed along, like, parked cars right by Yankee Stadium. We all got out and ran, and they were like, yo, you Daytona 500? You know what I mean? Like, everybody had jokes on me, and the name just stuck like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> you, you borrow it and hope that you can put it back in the same spot so they don't even notice. Yeah, but not that time. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, let, let's. you've been doing this for a minute, and, yeah. and we share a mutual friend in Cypher Sounds. Cypher Sounds. Which is still the homie. He's the still homie, doing, what the up, OG, Cypher? you know what I mean? Like, God bless Cypher Sounds. Cypher Sounds saved my life. That's a fact. Man, and you know what? He's done a lot for a lot of people. Um, I met Sife because we were in the same DJ crew. Mm -hmm. um, shout yeah. out to heavy hitters. Yep. Um, you know, Sife was a, a honorary heavy hitter, mm -hmm. so to speak. I met him through all my heavy hitter members. Uh, probably, man, we've known each other for probably 17, 18 wow. years. And then Sife, you know, put on the Nina Sky thing. Yeah, you man. You were signed to Sife. I was, I was signed to Sife of Sound straight out of high school. Um, and that's how I met you back in the days. This is like jerseys and cornrows, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and um, you know, it's just that experience of just being around. Like, I could just remember just being in the studio, like, with Pharrell, you mm. know, with Timberland, you know, with all these guys just being a fly on the wall. And that experience just helped and mold me into who I am today. What, just making um, records and like being able to make a record, like I learned that from Cypher Sound. He's an amazing, he's an amazing dude. He's an amazing DJ. He's an amazing producer, A and R, um, and he gets the the whole the whole entertainment, the yeah. whole comedy thing. For sure, he's still doing. I was comedy. there in the transition when he Man. decided to do all that, you know. <laughs> and um, he was back then. He was more so frustrated, like. He was like, man, Daytona, I wish you came around like in 2002 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because he was like, at that time, nobody really understood what I was trying to do. And I, I maybe might have been a little bit too creative. Right. And then so here we are like in this Internet realm and like everything is coming back around full circle. Mm. Yeah. So. You, you started off with Cypher, mm -hmm. and now what's your situation like? Um, right now, I'm signed to Harry Fraud. Um, you know, that's 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 the homie right there. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with him, French Montana, you know, uh, Currency, all that. But he's like a New York staple, you know. And, like, we work together, and it, it just made sense. Um, and... It's just that's where I'm at right now. That's my brother. So all my homies in New York, Camillo, Enough, yeah, uh, Cass. I just I just spoke to Enough. Shout out Enough, Megan Wright. What's up, Enough? Yeah, Megan. Yeah, they're all burning your record up on, mm -hmm. on Hot 97 in New yeah. York. Tell me how that came about. How did this record come about? Um, and 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 what's going on with it? Um, the record mainly came about. People started to really like root for me. Um, when Bring Them Things came out, you know. And a lot of people don't know that that was me on the hook with Pharrell and French Montana. and But the city knew because I've been putting in work for so long. Mm. So enough flex every time they play the record. Shout out to Daytona. Shout out to mm. Daytona. Like letting it be known. Like that's the homie right there. So once I dropped that, everybody was like, all right, what you going to come with next? Had another record. They supported it. And then when I came with Litcoin, every single DJ just gravitated towards it because I was just mm. putting in work, you know, and then these guys became like my friends. Mm. And it was like, yo, I'm gonna wave this Daytona flag and this record could really go. I'm gonna support it all the way. And you got a video to this record? Not yet. Not yet. Uh -uh. Okay. How'd you come up with the concept of that? Crazy thing was I was in LA. Are you, by the way, do you have Bitcoin? Are you um, on in that whole like yeah, yeah. E e Ethereum and all yeah, that? Yeah, I was, I was in LA. Okay. And Every single person I was talking to, this is like when Bitcoin was at like 15, right? And 
early. E- everybody was was talking. No, this is like in in December. That just oh yeah 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 I got before you. like you know everybody right. got on it. Yeah, and I got on it before that. Yeah, but yeah, so I guess that everybody was talking about it, and it was just like wow, like. I haven't really heard anybody put it in a record. Right. And I thought it would be corny to make a whole song about cryptocurrency. So I just kind (laughs) of slid it in there and I was like, yo, I make my own crypto called Litcoin. You know what I'm saying? So we just, I just came back home and um, shout out to my bro Dalton and the the Gifted program. They was playing the beat and it was just ill. And that's how, and as soon as I laid the record, I got it mixed and mastered and went straight to the club with it. How was Coachella? I'm, I thought I died on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they break that down. I mean, because it's so nuts. Like, you know, you wake up partying. Right. You go to, go sleep, to sleep partying. partying. And when you're eating, you're partying. Yo, it, it was just so crazy. And uh, um, everything, everywhere I was going, it was just an end. That was my first time ever going to Coachella. Then I made the mistake of actually going to the festival on Sunday. <laughs> And that just drained me out. So as soon as I got to my hotel, I just opened the door and fell straight that on the. It. I was I missed every party on Sunday, but I didn't really even care. <laughs> Who did you see out there that you were that you were really looking forward to seeing? Not not even necessarily performing because there was a lot of people out there um, behind the scenes. The ill thing was, I I went to the Bad Boy House and they had this intimate Little Wayne performance, and that was like seeing him like I was like right next to him and like seeing him like that that was ill to me mm. Wayne might be my favorite rapper a lot yeah man that that's right now you know like for this generation that's that's di- this generation Jay-Z and Nas another one of my favorite rappers and I know you have a, a relationship with him as well is Jadakus oh yeah yeah that's talk about homie. that because I know y'all were um Jada that's how I met me and Harry Fraud did a record with okay. Jadakus you know and Jada, he had reached out to Peter Rosenberg, right? Like, yo, man. What's up, Mr. Rosenberg? Yes, sir. And he was like, yo, I like that record that you playing. Because it was like real hip hop. I'm just rapping, rapping. Right. And when he was on the phone with me, he was like, yo, you know why I mess with you? Because you really sound like you saying the things that you doing. You know what I mean? He was like, yo, when you told me I came through the club with, with Nicole Kidman, because I really thought you came through the, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so so it was like, and this. Ever since then, we built a rapport, and Jada Kiss is my that's my big brother. Talk about talk about meeting Rihanna. How was how was that? How did that happen? How was um, that experience? I met Rihanna with Cypher Sounds. We was both kids. Um, you know, like, and I was just I knew she was gonna be a star. And that was when when Cypher was it's rocking with the Jay, replay. Was rocking. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. And I met her because he really had a lot to do. He was Rihanna's, the first one to play uh, her record on the radio. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah, he he had a lot to do with discovering her and bringing her to Jay Z, mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, man. So so I met her early on. Um, Chris Brown, I, and that's Cypher, crazy. You need to be getting that Rihanna money. <laughs> it was crazy at the time. Everybody was on Tiara Marie. She was like she was more lit than I Rihanna. When she had the record. They flipped the old Eric B and Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. Uh, check out my melody. Exactly. And my um, buddies actually produced that song. Yeah, man. So, so that's when I and that the, she was so shy. I mm. remember when I first met her, she was sh- so shy and timid and just like a regular girl. And now she's like now she's Rihanna. Sh- now she's yeah. Riri. <laughs> so you you paid your dues, man. Yeah, and that, man. that's why I wanted to bring that stuff up. You 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 worked hard. You uh, grinded out and stayed persistent. And, Staying consistent with everything in the Cause industry. I always thought like this, man. If if I was blessed to be in the realm like this and just to keep being around these people and literally watching people blow up in front of me, like I remember like J. Cole doing shows with J. Cole, Action Bronson opening up for me, Logic opening mm. up for me. Mm. You know, it's just like and just watching these people become superstars, it's like, come on, my turn gotta come if I keep Staying at it and staying with it. I know the styles aren't free, sir, but you got a freestyle. You got something you got you want to you want to put down. Oh man, can you we put do me something? on on the spot? Or, or you know what? Maybe maybe give us a little taste of something that nobody's heard. Yet. Right. 
Send the info to my cash app with my cash app. Know my money better had that. I'll get clapped that. Pull up in the murder whip. Ten it out. Mad black. Murder Mace your bitch. Hit it. Give it right back. Uh new gear, new time, new air. No, I'm not the same that you knew last year. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Feeling fly and layers. Mike f- rich got m- Huh, can I curse? Hold hey, on. you go in, man. <laughs> nah, this my jiggy flow. My bless the city flow. RP, the homies I miss. I'm really though. Spill uh. Christy on the flow. My wrist, it got a cold. Her time heal. Everything rolly or gold. Neck pulling all froze. Tennis like Federer. Knowing all the hoes, etc., etc. Neck from Rebecca got me feeling so ahead of them. Feeling back to back. I'm feeling so repetitive. Reckless with the spending shit. Check up in my denim, bitch. Stay up in the W. I never take an L again. Good fella. So what the hell they could tell me? Bounce through L.A., blue and red Pele. I be cool how I'm cool in the avenue. Sip 1942 like apple juice. I could tell you about a play like I'm Stephen A. Blind to you broke boys. Can't see the day. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Can't <they tell> <laughs> yeah, let's go.